Hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. It took a while for this video as I expected. Summer is here, I have a lot of things to do in the garden so I can't hold the pace that I uh, produce a video every day and I prefer to produce high quality instead of uh, rushing through the things and uh, that doesn't help you and doesn't help me. So I took my time and I decided today we should talk about linking. Linking is a very complex uh, thing in org mode or very versatile. It's not, it's not really complex. It's, it's just you have so many possibilities to link. So we distinguish between internal links. That's what we want to talk today. And in the next uh, video we will talk about external links. Internal links are links to other uh, places in your local file. I, a link, no matter if it's uh, internal or external, looks like that. You have two brackets, then uh, you name the target and you have two closing brackets or if you want a description for the link then you have the two opening brackets, you have the target, one closing bracket, another opening one and then you put a description there and you close it with two brackets. So for internal links possible targets could be a headline. I have prepared a file here and I already wrote some of the links that they are almost complete so that I just have to put the last bracket that you see what happens. So we have a link to a headline. We have a headline down here that's called house stuff. And if I close this now with the bracket, then you see it transforms into an underlined blue uh, font link like you know it from your web browser and uh, it links to house stuff. We can try it. You see if I'm hovering with the mouse you see there is a box opening that says link to house stuff. I can press the left mouse button to go there and you see I ended up on the headline that is called house stuff. If I want to go back it's control C and the add and, uh, and uh, ampersand uh, character so I'm back to my link. Uh, when you want to edit links you can easily go back Wow, what's doing this here I want no yeah how stuff I'm here at the end of the line so I can make it like that or if I want to edit it more comfortably well you can say uh, Control C, Control L, and then you see down here you have the link that's house stuff, and you could now even uh, put a description. This links to a headline. House stuff. So now I have a description, and my link looks like that now. So this was linking to a headline. Uh, we can also link to a name target if we have some text somewhere like here inside a task I have put a line name name target this one links here if I close the link as usual it says somewhere in the text you can also put your cursor on the link and press Control C Control O that's like opening the link and then you are end up here on the uh, named target line with the name. And the third possibility for internal targets is that you link to a custom ID. So let's go back uh, to the position where we were before. This is Control C ampersand. We are here. And here I have a link that's starting with a hashtag my ID 123 and if you look down here I have a task that has a custom ID property that says my ID 123 and if I close looks like that 
if I follow the link, I'm ending up on that headline with the custom ID my ID one two three. That's a very nice feature. The problem with this one is uh, you are responsible that your IDs here are unique. So if you put another my ID one two three there, uh, you don't know where you end up. So this is your responsibility make a unique id if you count them or whatever it works uh, in the next episode or uh, next snippet we will show you how you create unique ids there's an id property with unique ids and that makes linking a bit easier but uh, it's also working with the custom id if you have a project or whatever and, and you know what you are doing it's a very nice uh, feature to link to a custom ID. So those were the, the basically the, the three interesting internal links, but there is a fourth one uh, where the documentation says radio target. And I guess nobody has an idea what is a radio target, so I prepared the text to show you. Uh, there's a text. We have a, a headline, there's a person called Newton. And this is just taken from uh, Wikipedia. It's a long text about Isaac Newton. And now just imagine you have a, a really big file like that. That is sort of a, a reference document. And for some of the words in your file, you want to have links to a special part in that file where those uh, things are explained. So the easiest way is that you put a radio target. I can put a radio target here that says Newton. This is my radio target. So, so far nothing is happening. But if I press Ctrl C twice, my magic key to alt mode, you will see what happens. So did you see? I have Newton here and now I have a link to Newton here and here, and here, and here, and here. So everywhere where in my text uh, the word Newton uh, is, I have a link. And those links are dynamically created inside old mode. It's not that, they, that you have a, a real link here that you can edit. If I put myself, let me put myself on, on that one and see what happens if I press Ctrl C L. You see, there is an empty, there's, there's no link. Because this is just a feature of org mode of this radio link that every occurrence of your radio link keyword is highlighted and used as a link. And of course, if I'm reading here and I come to our oh, Newton, who, who was that Newton? Let me follow the thing and they are end up here. And yeah, this is the definition or, or basic information about Newton. So. Let me go back to where I was before. No, see a number, and I'm here. So you see, this is this is perfect for for big, big reference documents. When you want to create your own sort of whatever thesis or whatever with, with let's say ten thousand lines, and you have some really specific uh, topics that, that you need to define. You can easily write the thing as a text and then you put your radio target and uh, finally wherever this thing appears in your text you get a link to that radio target and people that read it can just follow the link. So that's it for today for internal links. The next one will be longer because external links are much more uh, versatile and, and a much more spe wider spectrum of, of external links is there, starting from links to web pages and to files and whatever. But that one we will see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments. Yes, I know I sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's not my fault, I'm from Germany, Schwarzenegger is from Austria, but it's not so far away, it's 200 kilometers in the south, 
and uh, maybe this is why I sound a bit like him. Okay, thanks again and see you next time. I'll be back.